It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. To take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here is Ladies Bruce and Buffett. gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Magnifico! All right, come into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a slight advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Able to check the high kick. <laughs> Outstanding kick there by Lee. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice head kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh, 
Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Nice one two there. up now and now the damage is about to start back to his patented kicks here but just out of range let's get that takedown and win the round this big ball from punch lands now we get back to range lands a big elbow there the jab there he's got the reach advantage you might as well use it nice head kick some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks that one was checked look at him with his hips into that kick Trying to double up on that jab. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Ten seconds to go. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready? You ready? Round two underway. Pretty good right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Effective strike there by Luke. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Misses on that attempt. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Watch for that uppercut. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of stress. Can't take any of those, better check. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Just over three minutes to go. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice one, two there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice punch lands over the top. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Boy, Ty Plump. Right hand on point. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Well placed kick there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Big leg kick lands. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high punch. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or have I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Finish the fight, but 
Don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 53 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work.